we're getting pretty excited. There's exciting things happening. Like, hmm, doesn't look very good for Mac. Um, and then there's the lady with the white coat. Um, something's happening. Maybe Ivan's plan is working. And what do you think? Yeah, that's what we. Th- She's wondering the same thing. Here we go. Reading 17. Are you ready? Hmm. So it starts out with the title, "New Box." Hmm. Something strange is happening. The white-coated woman is back with other humans. They place a large box in the center of the ring. It's ruby-sized. And suddenly, I know why the woman is here. She's here to take Ruby away. Wow. Next subtitle is training. The woman leads Ruby to the box. She places an apple inside. Good girl, Ruby. She says kindly. Don't be afraid. Ruby inspects the box with her trunk. The woman makes a clicking sound with a little piece of metal she's holding in her hand. She gives Ruby a piece of carrot. Each time Ruby touches the box, she gets a click and a treat. Why is she making that clicking noise? I ask Bob. They do it to dogs all the time. Bob says I can tell he doesn't approve. It's called clicker training. They want Ruby to associate the noise with a treat, and when she does something they want, they make that noise. Great job, Ruby. The woman says you're a quick study. After many clicks and carrots, she takes Ruby back to her cage. Why is that lady giving me carrots when I touch the box? Ruby asks me. I think she wants you to go inside. I explain. But there's nothing inside. Ruby says, except an apple. Inside that box, I say, is the way out. Ruby tilts her head. I don't get it. See the picture of the red giraffe on that box? I think the lady is from the zoo, Ruby. I think she's ready to take you there. I wait for Ruby to trumpet with joy, but instead she just stares at me in silence. I'm not sure you understand. That bo- box might be taking you to where there are other elephants. I say a place with more room and humans who care about you. But even as I say these words, I remember with a shudder the last box I was in. I don't want a zoo, Ruby says. I want you and Bob and Julia. This is my home. No, Ruby, I say, this is your prison. Next subtitles: pet poking and prodding. The lady comes again. She brings an animal doctor with an awful smell and a dangerous-looking bag. He spends an hour with Ruby, poking and prodding, and he looks at her eyes, her feet, and her trunk. When he's done with Ruby, he enters my cage. My cage. I wish I could hide under not tag like Bob. Instead, I do a nice loud chest beat, and after a moment, <laughs> the doctor retreats. I'm not quite sure what he means, but I strut around my cage, feeling victorious. Anyway, next subtitle is called "No Painting." No one asked me to paint today. No one asked Ruby to perform. There are no shows, no visitors, unless you count the protesters. Mac stays in his office all day. Oh, listen to the next subtitle. It's called "More Boxes." I wake up from a long morning nap. Bob is on my belly, but he isn't asleep. He's watching the ring where four men are placing a large metal box. It's me-sized. What's that? I ask, still blurry from sleep. Bob nuzzles my chin. I think that box is for you, my friend. I'm not sure what he means. Me? They brought in a bunch of boxes when you were sleeping. Looks. To me, like they're taking the whole lot of you," he says casually, licking the paw. Even Thelma taking, I repeat, taking me where? Well, to some zoo probably. Others to an animal shelter where humans will try to find them homes. Bob shakes himself. So I guess all things must come to an end, to an end, huh? His voice is bright. But his eyes are far away and sad. I'm gonna miss your stomach, 
big guy? Bob shuts his eyes. He makes an odd noise in his throat. But what about you, I ask? I can't tell if Bob's just pretending to sleep, but he doesn't answer. I gaze at the huge shadowy box and suddenly I understand how Ruby feels. I don't want to go in that box. The last time I was in a box, my sister died. Next subtitle is called Goodbye. When George and Julia come that night, George just doesn't get the mop or the broom. He gathers up his tools and belongings while Julia runs to my cage. This is my last night, Ivan, she says, and she presses her palm to my glass. Mac fired my dad. Tears slip down her cheeks. But the zoo lady said maybe they'll have an opening there in a while, cleaning cages and stuff. I walk to the glass that separates us. I put my hand where Julia's is, palm to palm, finger to finger. My hand is bigger, but we're not so different. I'm going to miss you, Julia says, and Ruby and Bob. But this is a good thing. Really, it is. You deserve a different life. I stare into her dark eyes, and I wish I had words for her. Sniffling, she goes to Ruby's cage. Have a good life, Ruby, she says. Ruby makes a little rumbling sound. She puts her trunk between the bars and touches Julia's shoulder. Where's Bob anyway, Julia asks. She looks around under the tables in my cage by the trash can. Dad calls. Have you seen Bob? Dad, she calls. Have you seen Bob? Bob? Nope, George says. Julia's brow wrinkles. What's going to happen to him, Dad? What if Mac shuts down the whole mall? He says he's going to try to keep it open without the animals, George says. He stuffs his hands in his pockets. I'm worried about Bob, too, but I think he's a survivor. You know what, Dad? Julia gets a gleam in her eye. Bob could live with us. Mom loves dogs, and he could keep her company. And, Jules, I'm not even sure I have a job yet. I may not be able to feed you, let alone some mutt. My dog walking money. Sorry, Jules. Julia nods. I understand. She starts to leave and then runs back to my cage. I almost forgot. This is for you, Ivan. She slips a piece of paper into my cage. It's a drawing of Ruby and me. We're eating some yogurt raisins, and Bob is playing with another baby elephant, and I'm holding hands with a lovely gorilla. She has red lips and a flower in her hair. I look, as I always do, in Julia's pictures, like an elephant, an elegant fellow. But something is different about this drawing. In this picture, I'm smiling. Woo! That's cool. Neat. Well, that is the end of this reading, and we're going to see hmm, what happens to Ivan and to、um, Ruby and all of them. Wow, what an exciting book! See you next time.